The unstoppable rise of a businessman and politician, a son of Greek Jewish Holocaust refugee, now one of most powerful leaders in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Moise Katumbi Chapwe, the former governor of Katanga province, now Tanganyika in DRC, and president of TP Mazembe, one of the best African football club, is also closer than he's ever been to becoming the first African ruler descended from a Holocaust refugee. Katumbi's father, Nisim Soriano, was a Greek Jew who fled the island of Rhodes from the Nazis and settled in Congo in the 1930s, when it was still a Belgian colony. Joined the riveting expedition through Moise Katumbi's extraordinary life, an inspiring saga of a Greek Jewish Holocaust refugee's son who transcended humble origins, evolving from a fisherman to the dynamic force steering the helm of Tanganyika, poised to script history as the first African leader with a profound Holocaust refugee legacy. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, one name resonates with power and influence, Moise Katumbi Chapwe. A man of intriguing heritage and indomitable spirit, Katumbi's life is a compelling saga of resilience, ambition and influence. His story begins with his father, a Sephardic Jewish refugee from Greece. Fleeing the horrors of Holocaust, his father sought refuge in the Congo, a Belgian colony at the time. This was a time when thousands of Spanish Jews, forced to renounce their faith or leave their homeland, were scattered across Europe and the Middle East. The Democratic Republic of Congo, with its promise of peace and prosperity, became the sanctuary for Katumbi's father. On the other hand, Katumbi's mother was a proud daughter of the Congo, descending from the royal lineage of the Kazembe, a tribe of the Lunda people. The name Katumbi is a tribute to his maternal great-grandfather, a testament to his deep-rooted connection with his mother's heritage. Katumbi's early life was spent in the village of Kashobwe, near the serene Lake Mweru, on the border of Zambia. Amidst the tranquility of this village, the young Katumbi learned the values of hard work and perseverance. His father's involvement in the fishing trade played a foundational role in shaping Katumbi's entrepreneurial spirit. His education at the Kiweli School of Lubumbashi and the Kapaloe mission further honed his leadership skills and broadened his world view. These formative years were instrumental in molding Katumbi into the influential figure he is today. From these humble beginnings, Katumbi developed into one of the most influential figures in the DRC. His journey is a potent reminder of the power of influence, how a single individual, armed with determination, vision, and the right opportunities, can rise above adversity to shape the destiny of a nation. With his Greek Jewish heritage and Congolese roots, Katumbi's story is not just his own, but a reflection of the diverse, vibrant tapestry that is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Meet Katumbi, a man with a sharp business acumen. He built a vast empire spanning across various fields such as mining, transportation and food processing. This is not a story of inherited wealth, but a tale of hard work, perseverance, and an extraordinary ability, ability to seize opportunities. Katumbi's journey to the top, however, was far from linear. It was a challenging path beset with hurdles and detours. Despite these roadblocks, he remained undeterred. As we pan over the mines of the Democratic Republic of Congo, we see where Katumbi struck gold. His mining ventures not only brought him significant wealth, but also earned him immense respect within the business circles of the but that was just the beginning. Cut to the bustling traffic and expansive landscapes of the DRC. Katumbi saw opportunity here too. He dove into the transportation business, recognizing the vital role of logistics in such a vast nation. His strategic investment in transportation infrastructure was a game changer that boosted both his wealth and influence. Now, let our lens shift to a food processing plant. This was an area many business magnates overlooked, but not Katumbi. Here he diversified his business portfolio and simultaneously tackled food security issues in the DRC, earning admiration from the public. As Katumbi's empire flourished, so did his influence. His wealth was more than a symbol of his business prowess. 
He skillfully harnessed it to uplift many Congolese lives, investing in education, healthcare, and other social services. But even in the midst of all this, Katumbi never forgot where he came from. Our video now shows a local football club, TP Mazembe, basking in their victory. Under Katumbi's leadership, they won the Kiev Champions League title five times, bringing joy to millions of Congolese. Now, we transition to the political arena. Katumbi's financial success not only accumulated him great wealth, but it also laid the groundwork for his political aspirations. His influence extended far beyond the business world, reaching into the heart of the Democratic Republic of Congo's political sphere. Katumbi, a name that resonates in the halls of business and politics, his influence extended beyond the world of commerce to the political landscape, where he held the title of a Katanga province from 2007 to 2015. As we pan across the administrative buildings of the province, we reveal a time of transformative leadership for Katanga. Under Katumbi's guidance, the province blossomed with infrastructural development and economic growth. We see time-lapse footage of construction and bustling markets. A pragmatic approach to governance marked his political career, where economic prosperity and social welfare were key. We see Katumbi in local assemblies interacting with the people. A member of the People's Party for Reconstruction and Democracy, his dedication was unwavering until September 2015. We see him at party meetings, then his exit. When he opted to chart his own political course, course, it was seen as a bold move, a testament to his tenacity and determination. Scenes of public reactions and newspaper headlines follow. But Katumbi's political ambitions were far from over. He set his sights on the highest office in the land, the presidency. We see A of campaign rallies and speeches. His opposition to President Felix Tshisekedi has been vocal and unrelenting. Clips of fiery speeches play here. He has promised a new direction for the Democratic Republic of Congo, his desire to bring change palpable. We see eager faces in crowds, hopeful and expectant. But his journey has not been without challenges. We show solemn Katumbi. In 2018, he declared his candidacy for the presidential elections, but was denied entry into the country, which left him unable to file his candidacy. News footage of this plays. Yet setbacks only fueled his determination. We transition to a determined Katumbi. In December 2021, he made a decisive step launching his own political party ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. Scenes of the party launch filled the screen. This move further underscored his commitment to challenge the political status quo and his desire to lead his country towards a new era of prosperity and progress. Katumbi's political influence in the DRC is indomitable as he continues to challenge the status quo. We see a montage of his political journey his story serves as an inspiration to many, a testament to the power of resilience, determination, and a clear vision for a better future. As we close, we see Katumbi with his people working for a brighter tomorrow. In the vast plains of Africa, where politics and business weave a complex tapestry, there emerges a figure, Katumbi, who has etched an indelible mark not just on the canvas of African football, but on the shared history of his nation. Cut to the elated faces at the TP Mazembe Football Club, where Katumbi, as their president, infused a new spirit into the beautiful game. His passion for football is not merely a leisure pursuit, it is a symbol of his identity, his dedication to his community and his country. Then we shift our focus to the football field, where, under his leadership, the TP Mazembe Football Club soared to unparalleled heights, securing the CAF Champions League title five times. This victory wasn't just another notch in their belt, but a testament to the club's place among the African footballing titans. Let's pan over to Katumbi, a man whose strength lies in his astute management and a deep-rooted faith in the potential of Congolese football. However, his ambitions extend far beyond the cheering stadiums and the football pitch. In 2018, he threw his hat into the political ring, declaring his candidacy for the presidency of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Although he was denied entry to his own country and was unable to file his candidacy, his political dreams remained undeterred. The fire in his heart for progress and transformation in his homeland burns as bright as his love for football. And finally, in the waning days of 2021, he made a pivotal move towards actualizing these dreams by formally launching his political party. This strategic decision signaled his resolute intention to be a key player 
in the 2023 presidential elections. His clear vision for a revitalized Congo and his relentless resolve to bring about change are unmatched. As we revisit Katumbi's extraordinary journey from his humble beginnings in the quaint village of Kashobwe to his ascension as one of the most influential figures in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we recognize that this is a legacy in the making. His is far from concluded. As Moise Katumbi Chapri continues to sculpt his enduring legacy, his profound and lasting influence in the Democratic Republic of Congo is irrefutable.